In this problem we have a steel bar and a stress to 280 newtons per millimetre squared. Young's modulus is taken as 205 kilonewtons per millimetre squared. The bar is 10 millimetres in diameter and 240 millimetres in length. Calculate the strain and the applied force. To start with, for the strain, the normal equation we use for strain is the change in length divided by the original length. We have the original length, but we don't have the change in length, so can't use this equation to work out the strain. The other equation we can use is Young's modulus is equal to stress divided by strain. We have a value for the stress and we have a value for Young's modulus and therefore we can rearrange this equation and work out the strain. Rearranging this equation, the strain is equal to the stress divided by Young's modulus. Fill in our values. We have 280 newtons per millimetre squared. Young's modulus is given as 205 kilonewtons per millimetre squared. So we need to make a consistent set of units on top and bottom of this equation. So we have 205,000 newtons per millimetre squared. Work this out and we get the strain to be 1.366 times 10 to the minus 3. The next part is to work out the applied force. This comes from the equation for stress. Stress is given by the force divided by the area. We have a value for the stress. We don't have a value for the area, but we do know that the steel bar is 10 millimeters in diameter. So therefore we can work out the cross-sectional area by pi d squared over 4. using the diameter, use your calculator, you can work that out to be 78.54 millimeters for the area. This value can then be used in the stress equation to calculate the force. So our stress is the force divided by the area or cross multiplying up by the area the stress multiplied by the area gives you the force. Stress we know to be a value of 280. Area 78.54 that gives us a value of 21,991.14 newtons. Our force is then either 21,991.1 newtons or you can express that as 21.99 kilonewtons.